Hi everybody, this is Brian from Spot the Scots. And here at Spot the Scots, we traded the typical American dream to follow a dream of our own. We live in our RV and we travel full time. Today you can spot me in Buchanan, Michigan. So, uh, as you know, maybe, uh, Christy is in Florida on vacation having a little girls weekend. And uh, I am still here in Michigan. I got some man chores to do today, so I'm actually going to be taking the tire that we blew on the way here to Buchanan, take that into a shop today, get that repaired, and uh, see what we can't do. Maybe get an oil change today as well. So uh, why don't you come along for the ride? Enjoy. All right, so I've taken the uh, the tire off of the spare tire carrier, and uh, as you can see, this is that huge bubble that we've showed you before. Ridiculous, and I'll put my hand in here for some reference. That's how big it is, and I'm not going to sit here and grope it because um, apparently that could be pretty dangerous. So I'm not going to spend too much time around that bubble. Take my hand off, um, as I've been told. So that's the bubble. And uh, in case you're wondering what type of tire this is, it's a Rainier ST, and it's a uh, 235 80R16. It's a ST, of course, and. Um, see if I can find the build date in this uh, let's see it looks like the 33rd week of 2015 so um, some people have commented on the tread wear on it and this is the inside of the tire and this was on the rear axle of the trailer and so uh, to give you a little information on why the inside was you know has a lot more wear than the rest of the tire when we purchased this truck, um, they put on a 15 inch gooseneck adapter, which raised the nose of the fifth wheel up a little too high and put way too much weight on the rear axle of the trailer. But we have since uh, remedied that situation by putting a, um, a 12 inch adapter on the, on the uh, pin box. So it brought it down quite a bit and now it rides a lot more even. So I've been doing my research online and I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch this out with an LT tire as opposed to the STs. And I think we're just going to go ahead and switch out all the tires with LT rated tires. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can't go get this fixed. I'm going to ratchet this down and see if we can't go find a nice tire store and get some Goodyear LTs put on here. Okay, so on the 30 minute drive from Buchanan down here to Mishawaka, Indiana, Sitting in the sun, the bubble popped. So you can actually see down into the sidewall of the tire. So that's how close this was to popping. If I would have been driving that, it would have blown and then uh, it would have been horrible bad news. So that's how close it was. Good, good news. Very good news, I guess. All right, boys and girls. So here's what's going on with my spare tire situation. So I've decided to upgrade all the tires on the trailer from the crappy Rainier ST um, R35, R235, R16, blah, blah, blah. I think it's the 235 uh, R8016s, something like that, but they're STs. I've decided to upgrade all the tires to LTs, so the 235-8516s. Um, and I've decided to go up to the Goodyear G614 tires. Uh, they've got the best weight rating, um, they last the longest, and uh, everybody on all the fifth wheel boards seem to agree that that's probably the best tire that you can get out there. So I've decided to do that, and uh, the wonderful people here at the Discount Tire in Mishawaka, Indiana, have really helped me out. Um, I actually got to work with uh, Brennan Gilson, the manager here, and helped me out immensely, explained all the different tires that they have, um, how they actually differ in weight ratings, um, plies, and, and, and all that good stuff. And he explained all the differences to me, and we decided to actually go with the Goodyears um, and really kind of make an investment in our house. So now I get to go home, and instead of um, packing up the trailer tomorrow night and getting it ready to move Sunday. I am going to go home and pack up the trailer tonight and bring it down here tomorrow to get all of my tires changed tomorrow here in Indiana as opposed to waiting for Montana. So 
Um, I really don't trust the tires um, driving all the way to the west side of the country from here. I just I don't want to have to deal with a blowout on the highway and have to deal with all the money that goes into um, fixing the RV due to a blowout at highway speeds. So that's what we've decided to do and the people here at Discount Tire have helped me out immensely. They're great. They, they pulled a lot of strings to get those tires here for me and uh, they're bending over backwards to really help me out and have those tires uh, mounted for me tomorrow. So thank you Discount Tire and uh, it's going to work out. So tomorrow I will bring you back here and give you a little update, a little to be continued if you will on how the tire mounting goes. So see you guys tomorrow. All right, boys and girls, good morning. It's bright and early, it's about 7.45 Saturday morning, and um, I'm back here at Discount Tire. I got here as early as I could, that way I could uh, utilize the entire parking lot, as you can see, um, to try and back into this corner. So uh, they're gonna work on my, uh, they're gonna work on Mavis first thing, and uh, so I can get out of here. So uh, it was an early morning. I don't like getting up early, so. But it is what it is. Mavis is going to get some new shoes, finally get it taken care of. So uh, these tires got pretty worn. Just really don't like them. They just really don't last all that long. So uh, yeah, good news. Let's get it done. I'll uh, show you guys after it's all done. I might even give you a little sneak peek at what they're doing. So hope you guys enjoy. All right, so they are working on Mavis now. They got her all jacked up. They got all four tires off. <laughs> Come around here to the other side. This is my new wheel. My new tires. Ooh. Ah, pretty. Very nice. All right, so Mavis has a brand new set of shoes. Look at those. Looking good. All the way around, even a spare. Got her all hooked up. She's good to go. Actually, just waiting on a truck tire now. I found a pretty big gash in my front driver's side tire. So getting that replaced while I'm here before I have a blowout on the highway up on the truck. So that'd be bad. So I figure better safe than sorry. I'm getting that done right now and then I'll be getting out of here. Thank you very much, Discount Tire of Mishawaka, Indiana. You guys rock. And that is all guys. I think I'm gonna go home and take a nap. Bye.